cap IT pack down 35% in the last one year. But thank you very much, Mayuresh, for joining in. Just counting down to the market close in the last few uh, ticks. Uh, the Nifty is holding above 17,600 with a gain, but a very minor gain, just up close to about 0.1%. Turned out to be a bit choppy, started off quiet, then there was a rally. The Nifty went to levels of 17,700. From there, there was a sharp decline from about you know 12.30 to 2 o'clock, 2.30, and the Nifty came down to levels of 17,600. But by the close of trade, it appears that we're going to go home with some green on the screen. Tata Motors is the top Nifty gainer, 5.5% higher. Very strong JLR update, free cash flow numbers looking good. Goldman upgrades it. So that's been one of the big movers. But the other auto names like Hero Motor Corp, m and giving it company on the way up. IT broadly had a good session led by Wipro up 2%, but others like TCS and Tech Mahindra also seeing a rally of more than a percent. ONGC was a big mover. Um, you know, ONGC was up close to about 4 or percent. Other notable uh, gainers include Adani Enterprises, UPL, Adani Ports, Power Grid, LNT, all higher in trade. On the losing side, banks. Banks were the you know set big sectoral underperformers today. The Nifty Bank down 250 points, 0.6 percent lower. So banks dragging uh, the overall market lower. But this comes on the back of six days of gains. So there was that bit of profit taking. Bajaj Finance, Indescent Bank, ICSA Bank, Axis Bank, HDFC Bank, all trading lower, add SBI to that list as well, which saw a sharp plate uh, sell-off. HUL, Asian Paint, Starter Consumer, Britannia, so consumption names also a bit subdued, and Reliance Industries. That was another big track. Oh, absolutely. So overall, nothing much really, right? I mean, an absolutely quiet day of yeah. trade, just marking time around these levels. And uh, if you look at it, um, consolidation was the name of the game today. So even in the broader markets, I mean, not too many moves. Everest Canto, of course, was up almost about 15 odd percent on the back of the fall that we've seen in CNG prices. Uh, but apart from that, not too many movers. Yes, real estate had a big move. So whether it was DLF, there was Godridge Properties, there was Soba. Uh, good numbers coming in from Godridge and Soba as well. So looking pretty good over there. Some of these new age tech companies have been moving well. So something like a Zomato was up 3.5%. Uh, today, Ashok Leyland gained almost about 1.5%. Defense has been doing exceptionally well. BEL, BHEL, all looking pretty good. Uh, something like a federal bank as well inching up higher. On uh, the on the downside, names like uh, you know Reliance Power, Nika was under a bit of pressure, and IDFC Bank as well, not looking too good. But let's wind down the day's trading action. It's a wrap on uh, NSC closing bell. But don't go anywhere. We have smart money coming up in just a bit, where I'll be taking you through innovation and in investing, which is the big theme that we're expecting to see in 2023.